All right, the tit for tat over cars is on between uh, the incoming uh, president of the United States, Donald Trump, and, well, virtually everyone else in Germany, because it's one thing to hit them on politics and refugees, but when you start talking about a border tax on uh, BMWs and Mercedes, that just ignites a firestorm. Uh, just moments ago, we got the German uh, vice minister saying of uh, Donald Trump's, you know, warning here that... Uh, there's, there's an imbalance that we accept more Mercedes in this country, uh, for example, than, than we see Chevys abroad in places like Germany. And he just said, this is from the Minister Gabriel, well, the U.S. needs to build better cars. <laughs> That's my German there. That's what the U.S. needs to build better cars for which doesn't make any sense, but the translation is what it is. Jonathan Honig on this. We have Noel Nick for as well. Noel, what do you make of this? Now it's, it's getting to what the Germans really prize, their cars and their Autobahn and everything else, and now we're going right for the jugular. What do you think of it? Well, if you can remember, you know, we elected Donald Trump to make America great again, not Germany great again. And another thing, you know, Donald Trump is doing what he's doing best, which is causing trouble. And everybody knows in business, you use things like this as a shock factor um, to negotiate. This is simply a tool to start dialogue for negotiation because it's business as usual with Donald Trump. It's not government as usual. Because if you look at this, Donald Trump has kind of acquired America, almost uh, the Democrats would say, in a hostile takeover, and he's dissecting, just like you would in a, in a business, what's good and what's bad. So this is simply a negotiation tool because it's, it's putting it on uh, BMW to have to negotiate something that's going to make Trump happy. Uh, well, Jonathan, something you predicted would happen in this sort of tit for tat has finally happened. The German Vice Chancellor Sigmar Gabriel went on to say that I believe, I'm going to do my German here so you'll know it's him, I believe BMW's biggest factory is already in the U.S. in Spartanburg. He says, furthermore, the U.S. car industry would have a bad awakening if all supply parts that aren't being built in the U.S. were suddenly to become a 35% tariff. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, th that's it, Neil. I mean, Donald Trump that's is it, wielding... That's it, my what he said. No, that I would get rid of straight away, no question. Okay, I, Donald whatever. Trump yeah. is... He is using force, Neil. He's threatening force against Americans. I mean, his role... And the Germans are responding in this case. Indeed. So you're getting a trade war. You're getting protectionism. You're getting oh, okay. exactly what Herbert Hoover did after in, in, 2000, in, in, 2000, in 1929 that precipitated the Great Depression. And you know, what's just more frustrating than anything else is the hypocrisy of the Trump camp. I mean, not only does Donald Trump continue to manufacture all of his goods overseas for import, but even a lot of conservatives. I mean, Noel, you wrote an article six years ago for FoxNews.com talking about how wonderful free trade was, how free trade agreements yeah. were beneficial for yeah. Americans. So why has that changed? changed. Look, Jonathan, I, I'm sad, but I'm going to have to disagree with you, my friend. I, yeah, I did. I am. I love free trade. But let me tell you something. This is a different time in America. This is getting back to the roots. You know, just like Neil had talked about hidden figures, it's getting back to American roots and making America great again. So, yeah. And guess what, Jonathan? This is, this is just starting a negotiation. This is just threatening with this. But isn't this Donald is Trump say saying that, that we don't good. have free trade? Jonathan, what's isn't he saying that in the case of the Germans, they're not being free about it. They're, 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 the system's rigged in their favor. You say what? Well, Neil, the, 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 the president's role is not to fix the German economy, to Noel's point. It's to keep America free. It's to protect Americans' rights. No, he's saying he's reading the deal that we're more if, inclined to buy German cars than we are to sell American yeah, well, cars there. Well, Neil, for, for one thing, Trump wakes up, he watches Fox and Friends, and he tweets on whim without any sense of economics. For one thing, Chevy does, uh, GM doesn't even sell Chevys in Europe. So that's why Donald Trump doesn't see a lot of Chevys in Europe. But even more broadly, I mean, what he's talking about is interventionism on the most minute detail. And, well, that doesn't get us back to anything. America was built on free trade, on freedom of association, the right to buy or sell whatever you want without government getting in the way. That's not what Donald Trump is advocating well, for Well, John... Jonathan, Donald Trump has the right to try to negotiate. You know what? Because business as usual, government as usual ran by Obama did not get us anywhere. So the facts and the figures don't add up with the Obama administration. But, but, but so guess what? It, yeah. We're going to give it Trump's but isn't, try. Isn't, 
But isn't that what Donald, what, uh, isn't that the same I am my brother's keeper attitude that, for example, got us Obamacare? I mean, Obama said, I'm going to negotiate on your behalf. And now Donald Trump comes along and says, don't worry, you'll be rich, you'll be healthy. Just let me be the dictator. Just let me negotiate on your behalf. This isn't freedom. This isn't what America was founded on. I don't know well, if you'd Jonathan, be very yes, happy it that it's... the German finance minister just said, I like that honing. He seems like a really good guy. <laughs> I, I like a BMW. I just would never, I don't want to pay 35% more than I would otherwise. Yeah, nah, don't get me started. All right, guys, I want to thank you both very, very much. I can't wait till these trade wars extend to Ireland and Scotland. Because I do great Irish and <laughs> Scottish. And My, if it gets to Italy, though, game over. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right.